This introduction of award-winning data extraction software text converter is intended for companies and individuals looking to replace manual data entry with automated processes and to improve the accuracy of data acquisition while driving down the cost. 30 years of experience in creating and enhancing data processing software, combined with engagement of business professionals in manufacturing, finance, healthcare, automotive, and many other fields has produced this efficient, easy-to-use data extraction software. Text Converter will help you replace manual data entry. With automated data extraction, it will improve the accuracy and speed of your data processing operations and will reduce the cost up to five times. Your data processing workflows will get data from any sources, local and remote files, emails, and email attachments, cloud storages, web portals, and programming interfaces. Text Converter will read data from any file format, PDF and HTML, Excel and Word, text, scans, and images. You will be able to extract data from any business documents, invoices and purchase orders, financial and inventory reports, phone bills, certificates, and payroll reports. The extracted data can be loaded to any output destination, Excel, CSV, text, DBase, MS Access, SQL Server, Oracle or any relational database, Google BigQuery, Data Lakes, AS400, and other enterprise systems. Text Converter's friendly interface grants the ability to create data extraction projects quickly and easily, even for inexperienced users. A typical setup is done in four simple steps. Opening an input file, setting up a detailed template, adding top-level data, and setting up an output destination. An input file can be dropped into Text Converter from Windows Explorer, or you can open it from the toolbar. The file menu or the recent input files list. Step 2. Setting up a detailed template. A detailed template is used for extracting information from the lowest or the most nested level of data. A data extraction project will always have at least one detailed template. The easiest way to set it up is to click on any typical line with the right mouse button and select Set up tabular fields from the fly menu. We can add more fields by splitting the existing fields. There are lines which do not belong to the template. We will put a restriction on the first field. It should have a slash and should not be empty. Let's use these lines to initialize field names. The input and output dictionaries are created automatically. The input field properties together with template properties define the data extraction rules. The output dictionary defines the structure of the output database table, or file. The input and the output are synchronized. You can see where the extracted data goes in the output, and for each output cell you can check where the data is coming from. The live preview makes it easy to debug and tune up your data extraction project. Step 3, Adding Top-Level Data Usually, input documents have more than one level of information. The patient status, for example, belongs to a higher level of data than details. Typically, we will have one template per level. Let's add a top-level template and begin setting it up. A template can have both tabular and tag-based fields. I'm highlighting the tag and adding a new field by choosing this menu option. The field value is extracted automatically. Now let's pull out data from this input segment using tabular fields. The template definition is not specific enough. We'll make it precise by using the word totals as an include mask for the field P1. Only lines with the word totals are picked up by this template now. Please note that template data is located above and below the detailed level. This means that our top level template should have both properties, a header and a footer. Let's add these two input fields to the output. The file has two more levels of data, the pay type and the facility. We will add templates for them too.
The data extraction setup is ready. Now we can make the fourth and the final step, defining the output destination. We do that by clicking this toolbar button, and choosing a file, or a database table as our output. The file output can be in CSV, Excel, Access, DBase, or text format. OLEDB or ODBC connections will allow outputting the extracted data to any database system. Let's use Excel output for now. Text Converter can create new output files or tables on every run, or it can append to the existing destinations. We can control this behavior by the append to existing table property. Now we are ready to run the project. I click the running man button on the toolbar, the process is started, and the data is extracted to the output file. The output results can be analyzed using text converters built in data browser. This tool has convenient functions of filtering, reordering, and grouping the data. Let's save the project. Now it can be reused for other files with a similar data layout. To open a project we can drag and drop it into Text Converter, or we can open it from the toolbar, the file menu, or the list of recent projects. Text Converter has many easy to use data extraction techniques. Let's go over several of them using this fictional accounting report. I'll begin by setting up positional fields from this line and assigning field names from the line above. These two field names belong to the fields at the bottom of this section, so we will update the names from the line at the top. Input lines like this should not belong to our template. Let's make the template more strict by setting the type field property to cannot be empty. We have several multi-line fields here. The easiest way to extract a multi-line field is to turn on the field's multi-line option. Let's increase the output field's width to accommodate the input value's size. We can see that the notes field is extracted correctly. Sometimes we need to extract a segment of a multi-line field as a separate field, using the existing positional field as an anchor. Text Converter offers offset fields for such cases. Setting up an offset field is easy. Highlight the values placeholder and click on a positional field with the right mouse button, selecting Add Offset Field from the menu. The offset field will be extracted by its positional relationship to the anchor field. Now I'm going to show you how to use Text Converter's address parsing capability. I'm clicking on the Input Dictionary field, containing address information, with the right mouse button, and selecting an address block. The corresponding output fields are created and populated automatically. Let me demonstrate one more method, of setting up an input field. Let's assume, that we cannot rely on a field's position, and we do not have a label, to use for a tag-based field. We can use self-tag fields for these situations. I'm highlighting the field, clicking on it with the right mouse button, and adding the field by value. Now, instead of using a label, I select the self-tag option. All text segments, satisfying this pattern, are picked up. Patterns use the standard regular expression syntax. You can use this syntax to define filters, skipping criteria, tags, and many other parameters. The last subject of this video, is multi-line templates. Let me use this multi-line segment as an illustration. I'm adding another detailed template and setting it up from the selection. As you can see, the template's fields are positioned over several input lines. Let's take the field names from here and drag the input fields to the output dictionary. The setup is finished. Thank you very much for your time and your interest in our software. Please watch our other video tutorials.